Hi guys, yes, welcome to another episode of an amazing review show. It's called Cineverse and I am Watifet Winnie, so let's get to it. When they find out who you are, they will show you no mercy. Alright guys, we know that this, this is like official resumption dates and week for people who are working everywhere so there's less time to chill hang out with friends or just chill around and no stress and all of that but don't worry the moments and times in which you're able to relax and look for time to you know chill yes i said chill see you can chill forever there's nothing wrong with it and chill yes i've got you covered 100 don't worry i'll be giving you a list of movies that will be coming out this year all hollywood mind you don't worry by the time nigerian movies start coming out we'll be introducing it to you one by one but for right now we've got hollywood movies we've got fantasy we've got action we've got horror we've got everything so in no particular order pay close attention get a pen and paper and let's go Okay, first on my list, we've got the movie Doolittle. Now, for all of you who remember, the Doolittle guy then was Eddie Murphy. I mean, come on, one and two. The guy who talks to animals, basically. But this time around, he is not reprising his role. Instead, it is being done by Robert Downey Jr. And for those who do not know, yes, Iron Man. Well, Robert Downey Jr. Will be, reprising the, will be taking the role of Dr. Doolittle. And believe me, from the trailer I've seen so far, I feel it's going to be really amazing. So... Take your time out and listen to it. And for those who really love a dose of Tiffany Addish, you'll be seeing her in the movie Like a Boss. Now, Like a Boss, alongside Salma Hayek and Rose Bryan. Now, the thing about this movie is it's about two business women who are in debt, but a last in um, let's just say a last in boots rides in to come and save the day. But instead, she's a thief that is about to steal everything from their eyes. So let's not forget this movie will be coming out on the 31st of January. So don't forget. 31st of January. Do little is January 17th. And the third one, I've been shouting this since last year. Bad Boys 3, people. I'm not going to talk about it again because we all know it's Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. And we know the story that goes around it. So that will be coming out also on January 17th. Now, for our horror movie lovers, hmm, The Grudge. The Grudge came out January 3rd. And I'm going to, in fact, repeat it. If you don't like horror movies, or when you go to the cinema, you be believe for somebody to hold or somebody to bite your fingernail. Don't watch it on your own. In fact, don't watch it and don't go on your own. It's very simple. Don't try it. Leave it alone. On to the next one. The movie coming up is Underwater. Now, this movie is it's quite interesting because people are being, let's say, they, you know, let me be honest. I used to say that when you go overdue, African people, we don't stress ourselves. But anyways, they're overdue is the way in which they gain more knowledge about things. So it's about a couple of people, they are in a submarine seven miles below the ocean surface. And unfortunately, some somehow, somehow, something goes wrong with that ship. They are waking one creature that is taking them one by one. But anyways, from the trailer, Underwater is one for the books and one you should look out for. It will be released on January 10th. So take note. Take note. And another one, hmm, Ansel and Gretel. Whenever I say Ansel and Gretel, I'm sure, if not everybody, some people have known the story about them, siblings and yada, yada, they do. But this time around, we have a twist to Ansel and Gretel. It's more, more grimy, more dark, more horror-ish from the Grimm Brothers. And yes, it is going to be interesting. I'm a horror movie lover, so that's why I'm so excited about it. It's also going to be coming out on January 31st. Now, for those who grew up watching a lot of cartoons, I'm sure even children of that, they said they watch the cartoons. There are so much. In fact, I am so much looking forward to Sonic the Hedgehog. And watching the trailer, well, it looks like a very sarcastic character, playful and a little full of himself, but ends up saving the day. So, yes, Sonic the Hedgehog will also be coming out on the 21st of February. And I feel it's family friendly too. So, if you've got kids in the house, oh, just mommy, we want to watch a movie. Well, take them and let everybody just calm down. Now, moving on, we've got Top Gun. Top Gun, the original movie came out in 1986, and then Tom Cruise, who is now aging but still looks finger licking good, is reprising his role as the main character. So yes, January 26th, it is for Top Gun. It is one to look out for, and I'm definitely excited to see it. Now, let's not forget, I might not give the reviews on every one of this movie, but I'm just helping you just in case you do not have the time to check them out yourself. Moving on now, let's be honest, since the end of, in fact, let me say, since the end of Endgame, Mm -hmm. Since the end of Endgame, we've all been looking at it that when is Marvel going to surprise us with another movie and yada yada yada. But guess what? They announced it last year and, drum roll please, Black Widow. Black Widow. 
yes, played by Scarlett Johansson, as the character Natasha slash Black Widow. And we'll see a backstory, how she grew from herself, meeting Okai, and the story about her life. All in all, I feel it's going to really be a really amazing movie. So it's going to be out on November 6th. Take note, yes, it's still far, but you can always add that to your calendar so that there's no competition with that date. Moving on, we've got Jungle Cruise. Now, before I say anything, this movie, sometimes I'm like, is this an offshoot of Jumanji or something? Because Dwayne Johnson is there. So I'm like, is it offshoot? Or oh, they're just looking at that, can they extend Jumanji? But anyways, from the trailer, everything we watch is from the trailer. And so far, so good. I kind of I kinda like the graphics. I'm sorry. I like the visual representation, the video quality, and I like the tricks that they put in it. So we're going to be having Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt, you know now, going through the jungle, looking for whatever, whatever adventure, and then going after something mythical. At the end of the day, that might kill or might not kill them. You know how it ends. Anyways, it's going to be one enjoyable one for yourself and the family. And finally, we got Birds of Prey. No, not finally. I still got more. Birds of Prey. The final and total emancipation of Harley Quinn. I know when you hear from Birds of Prey, you think, is this one, is it documentary, is it not jewel? No, it is not. It's actually about the story and life of Harley Quinn after a breakup with Joker. And believe me... It is heart pumping. From those, for those who watch Suicide Squad, we can see what Harley Quinn can. In fact, we have, we can see the extent at which Harley Quinn can go to do anything. So yes, she's going to be really cuckoo in this, and it's going to be awesome. So yes, watch out for that, and that's going to be released on February seven. So. Book the date, book the time, go anywhere. In fact, watch these movies and sometimes let us know what you think about the movies because there might be what the hype, there might not be, but we'll still like to know either way. And moving on, for you horror movie lovers, I always say it, if you, are, if you don't have backbone, don't go. I'm warning because fine, in New Mutants, we've got um, Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones. Now, believe me, she's not doing the whole young girl growing up. No, this is a horror movie. And it is bone chilling. So if you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't go there. It's going to be released on April 3rd. So that's it. And another one. Now let's be honest. What movie speaks girl power, kung fu, and still gets the guy? Yes, we're talking about the one and only Mulan live. Hami, come on, no more cartoons. We're having the movie of Mulan this year, and it is going to be fun. I've been looking forward to it since last year. So I want to see if the visual representation is going to be as good as the cartoon or way better. So that is coming out on March 27. Note it down. Now, for you people that like James Bond, anyways, I like James Bond, Sha. Even though you know, James Bond can come, but I like James Bond. Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. They cannot cast me because I cannot run. I'm not like bah, all those things. But anyways, let's not forget that so far, the guy who has been reprising James Bond has been Daniel Craig from Casino Royale to Scepter to Skyfall. So yes, no time to die. This will be coming out April 2nd. So I'm looking forward to that. But the funny thing is they haven't really hyped it much. So probably they're doing it that so that we we'll, to not go below expectation or something like that. So we don't know. But I feel it will be a good movie. So let's just wait till it comes out. And next... Fast. In fact, what movie speaks cars, stunts, heists, probably dead people or dumb is feigning to be dead people? We're talking about one and only Fast and Furious 9. Now, let's be honest, before I go forward, why? I don't know. Because they don't want to eat. They've not taken enough money. Because I remember very well, my money went to Fast and Furious 8. I watched it two times. I can't, they cannot try it with this one. So please. But anyways, like we said before, Fast and Furious 9 will be coming out. And yes, you expect the stunts, expect the cars, the fast, the, fast, the cars I'm looking forward to. Expect the fast cars, expect everything. Every, just so that somebody is chasing somebody that did something that kills someone somewhere. Storyline. But all in us, we are waiting for the fast cars. So that will be coming out on 21st of May. Now, this date is for selected countries. Uh, what we don't know is if they're going to release it immediately after, maybe a week after, maybe a month after. That's what we don't know. But we know that in Singapore, it's going to be released on the 21st of May. Next. Now, children in the house. Okay, it's not just for children. But anyways, for all of you, we can remember the movie that garnered so much love. In fact, to the point that everybody's selling, so, in fact, clothes, the paste them on it anyways these little minions have so far gained a lot of popularity and support from the masses and yes i'm talking about minions from despicable me now this movie is coming out and this movie is a backstory to the life of 
the villain in quote grew and believe me whether it's interesting or not let's be honest people will watch because come on who, can, who cannot love those yellow things they are just too adorable anyways this movie will be coming out on june 11 and we are looking forward to it and another one green lantern ah cm the way my chest is doing for this movie is like this because believe me the last green lantern we watched which was played by ryan reynolds it was yes it, 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 it was good it was good i mean i mean it i mean come on is there anyone i know that we're switching between dc and marvel just like that and see if it's ping pong is playing and nobody's doing it for it oh yeah well fine no money but anyhow yes we are having green lantern corps and this time around i do not think it is going to be played by ryan reynolds i think it's going to be played by one of the guys from supernatural jensen and this is going to be released in july 2020 so if you are watching it don't think of ryan because it's not going to be there it's busy deadpool and so on to the next one the last full measure this movie is um it's kind of, okay i'm being a bit serious because it's kind of uh, it's, a, it's a true story it's about one self soldier who saved 60 people during the war during one great war in america with some other countries and he paid the ultimate price which is his life alongside along the time in those wars until a certain time his medal of honor was being delayed and not given and they had to go through a series of investigation they um, uncovered a conspiracy as to why that medal was delayed and a lot of things but all in all i see this why i want to watch this movie because it tells of brotherhood it tells of friendship it tells of the value for human life it tells of a commitment determination and all of that so yes i'm really looking forward to this particular movie so it will be coming out january 29th so pay close attention guys don't let it go past you and this one i'm about to talk about my face is squeezing because i'm not smiling wonder woman 1980 whatever 84. i'm not happy because the last one my heart was here and they brought me down to here let's be honest it was not like i told you the last time i did that i said halfway it was this then from halfway it was like they just rushed they maybe they had a budget of 300 million and halfway during the movie they had spent like 250 the many 50 they used it to finish it that's what i saw because it was just there in fact I, I told somebody i said i felt i was watching ps2 people running and jumping you get but anyways we are hoping that this time around 1984 they take their time out with everything the storyline the the visual effects and everything please that movie i'm racing that movie like this in my head now let it be like that or better when we see it this movie will be coming out june 5 so yes we're paying close attention to you guys do it well and another one for those venom now for those who do not know venom let me help you if you watch spider one spider man old one no toby Maguire. Spider-Man 1, 2, 3. The black Spider-Man with the waggy tongue and the white and black uniform. That's nice to scream. That would disturb you. Yeah, that is the guy that's called Venom. They had the part one last year and also part two be coming out October 2nd. So Tom Hardy, let's see how he pulls off part two and let's hope that he does a better job than the first one in box office. And this one, why I'm coming down for this one is because it might not be known by everybody. Me, oh, I watched it because I used to think that vampire, that cartoon vampire was one sexy ass motherfucker, but it was a cartoon. Let's, let's be guided. Anyway, so Morbius is coming out also 2020 and they're taking their time to it. And guess who is playing Morbius? Uh, Jared Leto from Suicide Squad. He is playing the living vampire. So I am looking forward to that. I saw the crazy level and the craze that is called jared leto and i'm willing to see how far it'll go in morbius and this movie will be coming out july 31 all right guys that about rounds it up but the day wraps everything up i know not everybody's interested in all the genres but the one you're interested in like i said pick a pen pick a paper use your phone tab, whatever record it type it write it i don't care just do it and when you watch these movies i hope you have the time of your life I, like I said, I cannot watch everything. I'm not Central Bank. But if you want me to watch everything, you can, you know, rely us outside. But anyhow, thank you guys for skipping with me. Keeping with me, yes. You do not skip it. You kept with me. So thank you for your time. And once again, have a wonderful year. Yes, Happy New Year again. So I come away next time. I am still Watifed. This is still Cineverse. And this is still Camera Boy TV. So keep up with the conversation. Let us know what you think. Red Hot Pop Culture.